Okay, here's a few more character robots. This one is a uh, Billiken, again. Dated uh, 1990. So this is what, 2021? So you add another 10 on that, so it's like 31 years old. It's uh, all tin with the exception of the head. You got uh, the Billiken mark and some writing there. Made in Japan. And I don't remember if it's ever been wound up before. So walking with swinging arms. And I gave it uh, two and a half turns of a key. It's actually not a bad run time for only two and a half turns. I didn't want it to continue on forever. Um, Super Robot. This is something newer, I think. Made in China. Not going to be any sort of date or anything on the box to help. But it is, uh, it is all tin. I mean, the only plastic parts on there are his nose and the top of his his head. It actually has some weight to it, which is surprising for a China toy. X25. I don't know. I'll give it a couple of turns there. It's got good swinging arms. Walking. Actually a nice litho for a, a China toy. The on off switch was there in the front. I don't think there was anything else on here that we can read that would uh, be of any value, but you can get a close up more of the litho. And the on off switch. So that's nicely done. And uh, down here on the end, we have. Uh, you know it's more modern because of the walking design, but it's uh, all plastic, uh, two pen light batteries, so it must be a T28 type Gigantor. Uh, what's it say on the bottom? It says made in China. But you can see you have the rubber pads in the front and the free spinning wheels in the back. So it's supposed to be that type of walking mechanism where when the foot is taking a step, the toe should be lifted up so it can roll on the wheels and then when the foot's done going forward, the foot should tip so that these grab so the next side can then roll. But I don't remember this one being a very good uh, walker. I'm going to get to the other side of the camera here. This is a nice quiet... Whoop, whoop, he's not very stable. I'm going to hold the top of his head. So you can get up, you can see the foot action that I was trying to describe. It's pretty wobbly if I let go. I'm gonna let go. <laughs> pretty, pretty wobbly. Fairly quiet though. Does have uh, slightly moving arms. In order to uh, the switches on the back. In order to put the batteries in, there's no snap. You actually have to take the safety screw out. So again, that would help uh, date this thing. I would. So obviously, it's 20 years or newer. I would say. So there you have it. Let's see if we can find a few more of these uh, oddballs.